Welcome to Outdoor Yoga, everyone. We're going to start by standing at the front of your mat. The big toe knuckles slightly together, your toes fanning out to get nice and grounded in your feet. And we'll begin by placing hands at the heart, closing your eyes, taking some breaths as you start to connect mind-body. And so start to soften the corners of your eyes, soft this, soften the space between your eyebrows. Just take a moment to come to this time for you, this time to practice yoga, bringing the outside to the inside. Maybe scan for a moment from the crown of the head down through your head, shoulders, the belly down through your lower body into your feet to just scan the body for any place that feels tight or tense or stressed out and maybe take a moment to just set an intention for your practice this morning or today or this afternoon or evening whenever you're practicing we're just coming together in this time to practice coming into the self working with the body okay, just start to notice your hands at the chest take a deep breath in as the hands rise with your next inhale <laughs> to reach the arms up overhead arms reaching and floating up and just take a moment to take a little side stretch in a way that feels good for you right and left and then bend your elbows bring the fingertips behind your head press the back of the head into the fingertips come wide in your elbows lift the heart upward and then bring the chin to the chest. Press the fingertips into the back of the head, stretching the neck. And do that again. Lift the chin high. Back of the head, reaching back into the fingertips. Open the elbows wide. And then one more time. Drop the chin to the chest. Stretch the head. Maybe massage the back of your scalp a little bit. Just start to feel the lengthening in the back of the head. And then let's reach the arms back up as the crown of the head reaches. We'll drop the right hand down toward the right thigh. Press the right fingers toward the right heel. Lean toward the right. Gaze up past the left arm as the left arm curls to the left. Breathe. Keep the shoulders soft. Inhale. Right arm reaches high. We'll take the left hand downward toward the left thigh. Gaze up. We're separating those arms, right arm reaching high, left fingers reaching low and curling to the left. Turn your chest up, soften that left shoulder. Inhale, reach both arms back up overhead. Exhale, we're going to drop the hands level with the shoulders and twist toward the right. So arms are going to stretch out, arms horizontal with the ground. Gaze past the right shoulder. Maybe flip the palms up. Inhale, reach the arms back up overhead. And then we'll do the other side. So we're twisting toward the left. The belly pulls in and your upper body is twisting that way toward the left. So the arms shoot out. Gaze past the left fingers. Pull in from the belly. Twist. Turn the palms up. Inhale. 
Once again, all the way up, neutral. Exhale to the right, pull the belly in, squeeze your ribs in, turn the palms up. Inhale, arms reach high, press the feet firm into the ground. Exhale to the left, turn the palms up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to the right, pull the belly in, stretch your arms apart, turn the palms up. Inhale, arms float up. Last time, we're turning to the left. Pull the tummy in, turn the palms up, reach the arms up overhead, stretch nice and long. We're going to take the hands together. So bend your elbows just to get your palms to touch. Make a steeple with your hands. So you're pressing the palms together. And then we're kind of energetically reaching those pointy fingers up toward the sky, biceps next to your ears. Squeeze the head between your biceps, gaze up, lift your heart, press your feet firm into the floor as you gaze up. Look at the ceiling overhead, or if you're outside, look at the sky overhead, lift up, reach straight arms back, and then exhale, bring your hands out in front of you. So your hands are now level with your shoulders. You're squeezing your forearms together. The crease of your elbows is turning up. You're pulling in from the belly. So there's like this tight belly, firm in your Uttiana Bandha, that, that um, abdominal lock. So the ribs, the top ribs, or the bottom ribs, are gonna squeezing toward your hips, and kind of squeezing in. Okay, so you're, there's strong energy here in the core. Squeeze your arms together, and inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, pull in from the belly, energetically, you're gonna turn to the side, because you're kind of scooping in, hollowing out the belly as the hands lower toward, just past your eyes, and then inhale, Reach the arms up. We're going to do that one more time. Drop the hands level with the shoulders. A little bend in your knees. Pull the belly in, squeezing in here. The ribs squeeze in, the belly squeeze in. Nice and strong in the core. Inhale, arms reach up. Look up, gaze up and back. Good. We'll come to a neutral. Turn your palms out and slowly take a dive down. Bend your knees. Forward fold, feet hip width apart, and we're going to bend the knees enough to grab the opposite elbow and hang out here in a forward fold. Your hips up over your knees and feet. Bend your knees as much as you'd like. Shake your head, maybe sweep or tick tock side to side. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, exhale, breathe out. Do that one more time. Identify the strength in your legs, the length in the hamstrings, the upper body just hanging. Okay, we'll drop the hands now carefully to the earth. Drag the hands up to the shins and take a half lift in your half lift. Your spine is nice and long, your feet planted. Bend your knees if that feels better, but we want those hips over the heels. Okay, so see if you can extend the legs or bend the knees, but see if you can try to lift the heart so it's level with the hips. You're gazing forward, flat back. Breathe. Exhale, bend the knees. Taking that forward fold. Okay, and then we're going to place the hands at the floor or the ground underneath your shoulders. Guide your feet back. And we're going to pause in this plank position. Okay, your knees can come down to modify. Just lining up that shoulder strongly over your wrist. Your creases of your elbows are pointing forward. You're spreading the fingers. Gaze forward a couple feet in front of the nose. Whether you're on the knees or off the knees. We're going to take a big breath in to prep. Press that space between your shoulder blades up. And then exhale. Bend your elbows slowly lower. Halfway down. Inhale back up. Good. Take your knees to the ground. Point your toes toward the sky. Pause here. Pull the belly in, feel the strength of your arms, the strength of your core. Gaze forward, pull in the strength of the belly. 
and then we'll take the toes back to the ground. Knees stay down or tuck the toes, come up, plank position, set up here, strong in your arms. Feel that heat generate in the upper body and in the core. On your exhale, slowly lower, halfway down. Inhale, push back up, lower the knees to the floor. If they're not already there, point your toes to the ceiling. Now we're gonna add on three here, on our knees. So get nice and long, feel the strength of the belly, long through the spine. Exhale, go all the way, then push back up. Exhale, go all the way, nice and slow. Push back up. Exhale, go all the way down to the belly. Point your toes into the mat, toenails press into the mat. Slide your hands back, reaching the fingertips behind you. Peel the chest and lower ribs upward toward the sky. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, back of the head reaching back. Maybe the legs peel off of the ground as well. Keep reaching the arms back. Rotate through the wrists. Soften up on those wrists and hands. As the shoulder blades squeeze together, we're lifting one more inhale. On your exhale, slowly come down. Place your hands underneath the shoulders. Bend the knees. Point your toes up. We're going to press back up. Then bring the toes to the ground, press the hips back, and slowly come up off of the knees to downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, you get to check it out, maybe shift side to side. In downward dog, your hips are moving side to side. You're just checking out how does it feel to be on my feet, on my hands, grounded into your hands, lifting up the hips, carving out through the belly. See what it's like to soften the shoulders. See what it's like to get those heels drawing lower to the earth. Okay, take one more big breath in. Spread your toes, lift your hips. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward at the hands. Slowly walk to the top of the mat, and I want you to crouch down for a toe stand. So your feet are gonna come together. Maybe they're hip width apart, if that's better for you to get a little bit wider base at your feet. For toe stand, we're gonna hang out here on the fingertips, kinda of digging your claws into the earth or the um, carpet or the ground, wherever you are. Digging in there, or maybe taking one or both hands off of the ground to bring your hands to rest on the knees. Okay, toes down. High in the toes, the fascia of the feet is spread and pressing open through the toe tissues and tissue, the bones there. Your shoulders coming up over the hips, your tummy pulled in, the chest is lifting, crown of the head lifting, pull in, focus, breathe. One more time, inhale. And exhale, place the hands back at the ground. Draw your heels downward, hips come high, forward fold. Take your hands around your legs, grab your opposite hand or wrist, pull the chest in toward the thighs, shake the head yes and no. If you're grabbing that hand on the back of your legs, see if you can move down to your calves or to your hamstrings so you're not pressing on the backs of the knees. Either way, keep drawing the chest down into the low body. Find the length in your lumbar spine. So flatten that back. Breathe. Maybe use a little bit of that bind there to get a little deeper stretch in the back of the legs. Okay, inhale, half lift, hands coming to the shins, gaze forward, flat back. Exhale, place the hands at the floor. Guide the legs back, plank position. Line it up, feel energetic through your legs, through the quads, the kneecaps lifting, the belly lifting, the arms nice and strong, holding you up. Gaze forward, past the nose a couple feet in front of you. Inhale, exhale, inhale. On your exhale, bend your elbows. Knees can come down, take a chaturanga all the way or halfway. Inhale, we'll come into a cobra or upward facing dog. 
I am choosing upward facing dog. You might take your knees and thighs down to come into that cobra, that high cobra. And you can always modify, remember, doing what's best for your body. You're working with your body today. You come into that low cobra, okay? So any of those variations will do. Back of the head is reaching high. On the exhale, look down. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Press into the hands, press into the heels. Ten toes might lift up. We might shift a little side to side. Just notice and feel that out. Good. Okay, coming to the center. We'll bring the feet together. Inhale, float the right leg up. Exhale, bend the right knee. We're going to bring that right knee to the right arm. Shoulders move over the wrist. Gaze forward past the fingers. Squeeze in. Tuck the chin to the chest. Lift that right foot up. Lift the right knee up high. Now on your exhale, place that right foot between your thumbs. Go. Once you get that right foot between your thumbs, spin the left heel down. Arms reach high. Warrior one. Okay, warrior one. In your warrior one. Arms are reaching high. Reaching the arms back. The shoulders soften. The chest is lifted. The low ribs squeeze in. Feel that squeeze of the belly, kind of pulling in from the belly. Gaze upward past your arms. And as you're gazing up past the arms, let's peel the left heel up off of the ground with the arms reaching high. We're going to bring the hands together just like we did before in the steeple mudra with your hands. Squeeze the head between your biceps. Look up. On your exhale, bending the left knee. We'll bend the left knee, bring those arms in front, kind of squeeze in and carve it through the belly. The arms come forward, look past your thumbs, squeeze in, inhale, arms reaching up, come back up, exhale, bend that left knee, kind of squeezing, carving in, soften the shoulders away from the ears, inhale, arms reach high, one more time, bring the hands up level with the shoulders, pull the belly in, inhale, arms reach high, good. Release the arms, let the arms float out through your sides to bring yourself down into runner's lunge. Guide your right leg back. Set up your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Come to the knees if that's better. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips lifting high. Press the heels down. Feet and knees coming together. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bend the left knee. Core plank. Shoulders move over the wrist. Spread your fingers. Feel strong in your arms. Squeeze the left knee to the left arm. Lift that left foot high, high, high. Breathe in. Exhale. Place that left foot between your thumbs. Go. Right heel spinning down. Warrior one. Arms float up with the arms floating up. We're going to go back to that bind in the arms. So we're gonna take the opposite thumb on top. So whatever thumb you did on the other side, you'll go opposite. Okay, arms reaching up over your head, squeezing the biceps of the ears. Okay, feel strong in your core, strong in that right leg, the left knee tracking over the left ankle. Okay. We'll peel the right heel up off the floor. You're now in crescent lunge stance. We're going to bend the right knee, go in through the belly, lower the hands level with your eyes, your shoulders, squeeze in, carve out through the belly. Inhale, straighten the right leg, reach your arms up. Exhale, squeeze in, go in through the belly. Inhale, straighten that right leg, nice and low. Exhale, squeeze, you're bending your right knee, drop the shoulders lower than the ears. Inhale, arms float up. Good, we'll turn those palms out toward the side. Slowly bring the hands down to the ground. Take your left leg back, 
Move through your flow, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down or facing dog. Hips lifting high. Pressing the hips up and back. Shift a little bit side to side. Bending at the knees, rise up from the heels. Look forward at the hands, walk or hop, top of the mat. Coming into toe stand. Step, support yourself on your hands, fingertips, or bring the hands up to the knees. Feet either hip width apart or the feet and toes touch. Okay, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Okay, nice and slow. We're gonna take the hands back to the earth. We'll lift the hips up into forward fold. We're going to do a toe, toe um, block this time. So separate your feet hip width apart. Take peace fingers around the big toes. With your thumb at your big toenail, bend your elbows, pull the chest in toward the thighs. You're pressing firm into the soles of the feet, drawing the heart toward the thighs, crown of the head toward the toes. Play around with shifting your weight forward and back on the soles of the feet. Shaking the head, yes and no. Okay, release the bind of the big toe. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, place the hands back at the earth. Send your legs back. Move through your chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Feel the strength as you come down all the way or halfway. Inhale, heart rising up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feet and knees together. Inhale, lifting the right leg high, bending the right knee. Bring that right knee forward towards your right arm, anywhere along the arm. Lift the right toes, toes up, tuck the chin to the chest, press firm into your hands. Breathe. Good, place that right foot between your thumbs, go. Warrior one, arms reach high. Okay, warrior one. And we're going to bring the arms now behind us to interlace the fingers behind the back. Your knuckles drawing toward the left heel. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up through the chest. Lift your heart up. So we're gazing up here with the strength of the chest rising the heart up, squeezing the shoulder blades tightly together, shoulders away from ears, and then exhale, slowly lower, belly coming toward your right thigh. Look down at your right big toe, then tuck the chin to the chest, draw the forehead to the knee. Reach the arms up so you're opening up through the shoulders, pull in from the belly, do your best to get those straight arms to rise up, soften shoulders, breathe. Firm in that left long leg, strong in your right thigh, pull in through the core, breathe in, exhale, breathe in, exhale, slowly use your core muscles to rise back up, arms will float up overhead. Now we'll take that steeple mudra at your hands, you're um, taking that, uh, the natural natural thumb on top okay and then we're spinning the left heel up to come into that lunge look up inhale exhale bend the left knee pull in through the belly carve out through the belly feel the strength of your arms the creases of your elbows turning up inhale straighten the left leg arms reach up do that again exhale it's almost like you're crunching and hollowing out through the belly gaze past your fingers the smiles of your elbows reaching up, inhale. One more time, exhale. Come on down, bend the left knee, pull in through the belly, soften the shoulders. Come nice and low if it feels okay. Inhale, arms reach up, good. Exhale, we're going to twist. Bring your hands level with your shoulders. 
bring your left hand forward, your right hand back, twist your arms apart, gaze past the uh, right hand, breathe. Then we'll gaze past the left hand, take a deep breath in, exhale, slowly pull in through the belly as we bring the left hand to the ground and the right arm up. We can also bring that left knee down into a modified if that feels better. But I want you to think about arm over arm, rib cage over rib cage, your heart turning up toward the right side, pull in through the belly. Whether you're on the left knee or not, feel that strength, that stretch. Breathe one more full big breath in. Exhale, right hand coming back down to the earth. Begin to guide the hips back, hamstring stretch. Your right toes coming up toward the right shin. Your hands on your fingertips at your sides, just in case, like a support. And you're guiding the weight of your hips back. You're pulling in through the belly, your chest and heart coming toward the right knee or thigh. Breathe. Good, take one more full deep breath in. Beautiful breath, beautiful strong body. Good, and slowly walk your hands back into the runner's lunge. Framing your right foot, tuck your left toes. Right leg comes back. High to low plank, chaturanga, all the way or halfway. Inhale, lift the heart high, smile, gaze up. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips lift high. Feet are coming together. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, bend the left knee. Bring the left knee to the left tricep or elbow or forearm. Lift your left foot high, press firm into your hands, pull in through the belly, tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale, left foot between your thumbs. Spin your right heel down, warrior one. Arms floating up. Bend your elbows, bring your arms behind your back now. Fingers interlace, we're going awkward on this side, so awkward thumb on top. Knuckles reaching toward the right heel. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. So you're kind of wrapping the shoulder blades back, lifting the heart up. Chin up, arms reaching back. Breathe. Think about what you're doing here with the upper body. Think about that opening up through the heart, through the front side ribs, through the belly. And then on your exhale, slowly begin to bring that torso down toward the left thigh. Tuck the chin in toward the chest. Pull in through the belly. Reach your arms even higher. Breathe into the shoulders. Find softness. Press firm into that right leg. Breathe. Now we'll breathe in. Use our core muscles to slowly lift up. Press firm into that left leg. Arms and then separate and reach up overhead. Spin and turn the right heel up off of the ground. You're high on your left big toe knuckle now. You're in a crescent lunge. Now bring the hands together overhead like Charlie's Angels. Squeeze the head between your arms. Squeeze the palms together. The awkward thumb is on top. We're bending now the right knee coming lower in that right knee to bring the shoulders, hands level. Squeeze in from the belly, carving into that space. Inhale, arms reach high, lengthen and straighten the, left, the right leg. And then come back down, hands come level with your eye gaze. Shoulders away from ears, squeeze. Inhale, arms reaching high. Last time. Slowly bend your right knee, bring it a little lower. You're dropping your hips low, you're pulling in from the belly. Lengthen in the lumbar spine, squeeze in. Inhale, lengthen that leg. Good. And then we'll take the hands down and bring your hands level with the shoulders to twist horizontally. Look past your left shoulder. So you're pulling in from the belly, squeeze the low ribs together. 
create that twist, soften the shoulders, gaze past the left fingers, then gaze past the right fingers. Slowly bring the right hand down toward the floor or ground, press into that right arm, left arm reaching. Remember the right knee can come down if it's a better twist for you. So keep that twist, rib over rib, lengthen your spine, breathe, shoulders separating, pressing firm into your right hand, left arm reaching high, take one more big breath. Good, on your exhale, bring your left hand back down to the earth, guide your hands back, your hips back, your left toes up, pull in from the belly, bow over your left leg. Tuck the chin to the chest. Crown of the head toward the left big toe. Breathe. Good, slowly walk the hands back to the top of your mat. Hug into your arms. Take the left leg back. Chaturanga, high low plank. Inhale, heart lifting. Exhale, downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, bend the knees, look at the hands, walk or hop to the top. Stay in a crouch, we're going toe stand. So in your toe stand, you're either practicing balancing on the fingertips, hands can come to the knees, practicing there. If you'd like to practice with me a arm balance in side crow, or some call it side twisted balancing chair, we're going to turn toward the right, plant your hands at the side, right side of your mat, plant your hands shoulder width apart. Your knees are going to stay together, squeezing the inner thighs together, squeezing the knees together, looking your eyes and gaze that way toward the right. Okay, so we're gonna bend the elbows. Your elbows and triceps are going to become the shelves for your legs. So that um, right outer thigh or knee is gonna hook up with that left tricep, okay? So you'll start to come up higher on your toes, bend your elbows, shift your weight forward toward the right, Maybe one or both feet come up. Okay, that's one way. Another way is to bring that right elbow into your right hip and that will help support your right hip in the arm balance. So you could practice that, either of those variations in that side balancing crow. Okay, hang out there, practice that shift of weight. Maybe some of you will come into the open leg variation. Okay, and then when you're ready, come back to the center. Let's come onto the knees, rest the shoelaces at the ground in hero pose. The hands will come to the thighs. You'll close your eyes, your shoulders over your hips, turn the palms up, find stillness. Take a little scan of your body, your spine. Any stress or tension in your shoulders melts away on the exhale. Good, begin to breathe in, wiggle your fingertips. Bring your hands in front of you. We're going to practice before we go to the other side, Lolasana. So we're gonna spread our fingertips like crow feet at the ground. We're going to pitch the shoulders forward. So you're pitching forward, your hips come up off of the heels. I'll turn to the side. So shoulders pitch forward. We're going to pick up the knees, strength in your arms. Maybe bring one foot up off of the ground, maybe two. Breathe. Exhale, slowly come down. 
And then we'll support ourselves as we come back onto the toes. Toe stand once again. In toe stand, practice fingertips of the ground. Just allow yourself to work with your body wherever you are. So if you're feeling like this is enough for today, play around with that, stay there, get edgy and curious. Maybe hands can come to the knees. Maybe you're gonna practice side crow on the left. You're going to twist those arms to the left, plant your hands to the left. Think about crow feet for hands, bend your elbows, squeeze your knees together, look to the left, maybe begin to shift that weight on top of your right tricep. Maybe the left elbow comes to the left hip. Breathe. Come down when you're ready. Come back to the center. Bring your knees down to the ground. Hero pose, rest your hips on your heels. Hands on your thighs, turn the palms up. Sit nice and tall. Just notice stillness in the body. Clear the mind. Begin to breathe into the nostrils, wiggle your thumbs and the other four fingers. Okay, let's send the hands in front. One more round of Lolasana. This is a lot of strength for your arms and your core. We're pressing hands into the ground. That's your start. Pitch your shoulder blades forward. Hips coming off of the heels. Try to press firm into your arms to lift the knees up. Maybe it's just an inch, maybe it's a centimeter today. Work with your body to pick the knees up. Your feet can stay at the floor the entire time. Maybe practice bringing one foot up, maybe both feet up. Press firm into your arms. Gaze forward, breathe. Exhale, slowly come back down. Support yourself on your fingertips to roll over your toes to come back into toe stand. From toe stand, we're coming into a forward fold. So we'll press the heels into the floor, lift the hips. We're taking the hands this time underneath the feet for Padangustasana, or standing on the hands, Padanghastasana. So separate your feet, hip width apart. Slide your hands underneath your toes. The toes come to the wrists. Stand on the hands. Maybe bend your elbows, maybe straighten your legs. Maybe load the weight completely onto your hands to let the weight move forward over the head. Shake your head, yes and no. Breathe. Really good, you guys. On your next inhale, take yourself out of the bind Hands from underneath the feet, half lift, hands to the shins, gaze forward past the cheekbones. Exhale, bend the knees, take your feet back, plank position. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart high, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips lift high, shift the hips around, shake your head. Smile, take a big breath into the nose. Bring your feet and knees together. Inhale, right leg up. Bend the right knee. Core plank, last one on this right side. Pull that right knee as high up the right arm as you can. Squeeze, shoulders over the wrist, look forward. Then plant that foot between your thumbs. Warrior one, arms reach high. With the arms reaching high, we're gonna go right into that steeple mudra with the arms, so we're squeezing the head between the arms, and we're going to come into warrior three, which means we're going to gaze forward past the right knee, begin to squeeze tight in the upper body, pull the belly in, and then load the weight on your right leg to balance. You can be at an angle as you're squeezing the head with your arms, or you can slowly drop the chest, flex and activate that left leg. If it's too much for your arms, 
bring your hands to the heart. Maybe airplane your arms out. Find balance here. Breathe. If you feel wobbly, it's okay. Maybe shift that weight around, come back to the center. Okay, and then we're going to take a half balancing moon. The right hand is gonna come down underneath your face. The left toes will point to the side wall to the, to the left, in your left hand, then come to the left hip, or left hand up overhead. So just find that opening up strong in your right leg, strong in your left leg. Breathe. Good. Bring your left hand back down to the ground. Point your left big toe up, one leg standing split. We're going to drop the chest a little closer to your left leg. Walk your hands in closer to your right foot. Gaze down. And then finally, identify the left big toe. Bring that left big toe to the back of your mat. Land as gracefully as you can. Drop that left knee down. Lizard stretch. Hands to the inside of your right foot. Heel to your right foot nice and wide. Shift the hips side to side. Okay, we're planting the left hand under the left shoulder. You can go as wide as you like on your mat. So maybe heel toe, the right foot even wider. The right hand is gonna come to the right thigh, heart turning up toward the right. Maybe the right arm will lift up or reach back. Maybe the left knee will bend to take your right fingers around the left big toe. Any variation you're taking, explore the edges. See where it will feel better to make it stretch and feel good, working with your body. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Breathe one more time, slow it down. Exhale, release out of lizard pose. Right leg to the back of the mat. Child's pose, reach the hips toward the heels. Hands reach for your heels. Rest the forehead on the ground. Your hands will turn up by your sides. You're just going to allow yourself to find that beautiful stillness for three or four breaths. Big inhale. Big exhale. Worked a lot with the core, with the shoulders and arms. A lot with that strong hip flexor to open it up just a little bit. So just allow the body to settle into your next breath and begin to shift the weight side to side. Notice that massage at the forehead, the shifting of the weight the freedom in the body, maybe a watery quality in the body. Inhale, wiggle the fingers, stretch your arms out past your shoulders. Extend a child's pose to slowly rise up when you're ready into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, feet and knees together. Inhale, left leg floats high. Exhale, core plank. Slowly draw your shoulders over your wrist, pull the tummy in, left knee as high up the left arm as you can, pull in, zip it all in, squeeze, exhale, left foot to the space between your thumbs, right heel down, warrior one. From warrior one, we're taking the arms and hands together, squeeze the head, your awkward thumb is on top this time. Gaze up, lengthen through the upper body, and then gaze past your left knee. We're coming into warrior three. Begin to load the weight on your left leg. Pick up your right leg. Squeeze the arms together, or airplane out the arms, or hands to heart. Whatever variation of warrior three you're doing, get active in that right leg. So your right toes pull back toward the right shin. You're pulling your belly in. Stretch. 
strength in the standing leg. Then we'll look down at the ground to come into half balancing moon. The left hand is going to come to the ground. We'll turn that right hip bone up. Your right toe is now spin open. And the right hand is at the right hip or extending up. Pull in through the belly, lengthen through your spine. Feel firm in both legs. A perpendicular right angle in your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. On your exhale, begin to turn the right hip bone down, your right toes down, your right hand down. One leg standing split. Walk your hands closer to the left foot or leg. Reach your right big toe high. Pull the tummy in, chest moving to the right shin. Breathe here. One leg standing split. That right leg is high as you can help it go. And then we'll take that right foot to the back of the mat, bend your left knee, come into that lunge. Lizard stretch, arms on the inside of your left leg, heel to your left foot out to the side. Make this feel awesome for your hips to open, really nice and open through the, the hip area, hip flexors. Maybe the right knee lowers down to the earth, maybe the left hand comes to the left leg, maybe the left arm reaching high or reaching back, maybe your right knee bending, capturing your right big toe. Wherever you are, turn your heart upward, smile, shine out that beautiful posture, that glow. And then exhale, slowly come out of your pose. We're moving the left leg back. Child's pose, grab your heels, rest your head down. We're taking three or four breaths here. Allow your eyes to softly close. Allow yourself to scan the body, melting away anything that's not healthy for you, especially your thoughts. Let it go, take a deep breath in. One more time, breathe in, slow down the heart. Begin to breathe in, wiggle your fingers. Slide your hands forward, extended child's pose. From extended child's pose, slowly rise up into four-legged position. We're just gonna take one cat-cow. So we'll start with cat, arch through the spine, look between the knees, arching through the spine, nice and strong, strong in your arms, and then take a cow, drop the belly, lift the tailbone and the chest, lifts through the arms, gaze up, and then we'll come back to neutral. Okay, we'll plant that right hand. Let's do, sorry, we'll do the left hand so I can face you on the first round. The left hand is at the ground underneath the shoulder. Your left toes are going to turn off of the mat to the side and you'll extend the right leg back as the right arm comes up into a variation of side plank. So we can stay here or we could maybe bring that left foot behind your right foot or stack your feet or maybe even if that left knee is still at the ground you could try lifting your right foot up and then maybe the full expression is to bring that right bicep close to the side of your face turn the right palm down breathe in turn the heart and chest up inhale Exhale, slowly come back down, four-legged position. Line up your hands and your knees. Arch the spine for cat. Then take your cow. And then we'll line up that right hand. Let's turn to the sides and facing the camera. Right hand underneath the right shoulder. 
left leg back, right toes come off the mat, left arm up. So this is the start of Vashisthasana, that side plank. If you want to get a little bit more powerful, take that right knee off and just find the variation that's going to work with your body as we're just kind of checking it out. Maybe you come into that rainbow shape with the left bicep over the side of the face. Wherever you are, breathe. Exhale, come out of your pose onto hands and knees. Take a cat cow, arch through the spine. And exhale, taking cow. And then we're going to cross the ankles and roll over your ankles to come onto your hips. And on our hips, we're going to start by taking boat. So I'm just going to kind of turn towards you in boat pose. Take your hands to the backs of the thighs, lift the feet up off of the ground, taking your boat. Continue to lift the chest up, maybe the arms come up. Maybe try straightening one leg at a time. Okay, and then we'll cross the ankles and slowly roll onto your back. Take a deep breath in. Okay, squeezing the knees in toward the chest. Squeezing the knees in toward the chest. Squeeze in nice and tight. Then open up your arms to a T position out at your sides. Lower your knees over to the right. Gaze past the left fingers. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more time, your longest, deepest breath in. Longest, deepest breath out. Okay, and then we'll slowly lift the chin up, pull the tummy in, guide your knees back over your hips, squeeze the knees in nice and tight. And then send your arms back out like a T. Hands are going to anchor down as you guide your hips and thighs, knees over to the left, gaze past the right fingers. Find rest, inhale. Exhale. Do that one more time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the chin, face up, and bring those legs back up over the hips. Squeeze the knees in tight. Maybe take a happy baby, separating your knees, your thighs, arms on the insides, hands, grab a hold of your toes. Happy baby, your knees and thighs work toward the earth. Your feet standing on the sky. Maybe your elbows push on the insides of your knees to push the thighs open more. Maybe you press your lumbar spine, the low back toward the ground. Some people like to rock side to side. Check it out, find one or two more breaths. And we'll bring the feet back in toward the center. Let the feet come to the earth. Send the feet out past the corners of the mat. Press the heels into the earth as we lift the hips up and then let your arms turn open and take a few moments here. 
in your final relaxation. Allow me to guide you through a body scan as you get nice and comfortable. If you're in your home, you can grab a blanket or a pillow. Get nice and cozy as you rest. Draw a deep breath in. Exhale, let that breath go. Allow yourself to melt into the floor or the earth beneath you. Maybe scan from the crown of the head all the way through your skull, down through your neck, your collarbone, shoulders, the arms, to the tips of the fingers. Scan down your spine, the rib cage that protects the lungs and heart and vital organs. Draw awareness into the hips. If any of tightness in the hips melt into the floor, drawing awareness down through your thighs, shins, ankles, all the way to the toes. This body now resting peacefully, relaxing, floating, and you not needing to do anything. Allow it to let go. Begin to recognize your body lying on the floor or on the earth, wherever you're landed. Start to notice a small and simple breath come into the nostrils. Let that breath go. And begin to inhale a bigger breath into the nostrils. Wiggle just your thumbs and then take your thumbs across your other four fingers. Feel the sensation of touch in the fingertips and the fingers. Begin wiggling the toes as well. Breathing and rotating the ankles and the wrists. And then as you take your next breath in, let it be a big giant breath into your nose as you begin to reach the arms up overhead, stretch in a full body stretch. Your toes might point away from your hands. And then begin to walk your heels in. Roll over onto a fetal position on one side. Use your arm or shoulder as a pillow. Just settle here, your eyes softly closed. Take your time, no rush. Be kind to yourself. Find the courage to slow down and then slowly place one hand at the ground to press your way back up. Come into a seated cross-legged position. Rest your forearms on the knees. Sit nice and tall. You can continue to close your eyes. Being really kind and gentle as we come back out of our practice, bring your hands to heart center. And just take a moment to let that um, balance, the equilibrium of your body, mind, spirit come together at the heart. Thank you for joining me for this practice.
May you have a blessed day. Be healthy and shine your light. Namaste.